Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Brian Jones from popculture.com here with another episode of Pop Culture at Home. And joining me today is Lizzie, Lindsay Morgan. Now, Lindsay is the star of the new series on the CW Walker. It starts on uh, January 21st. She's known as Raven on the hit series, a CW series, B100. She's also starred in various TV series like General Hospital and various films like her latest, Skylines, which is out right now. Lindsay, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you so much. Now, first thing I wanted to ask you this uh, is, are you engaged? I am. How did you know? That is so awesome. Congratulations on that. Um, you know, with everything going on, it's so crazy. But have you set a date yet? Oh, man. You know, what? <laughs> me and my fiance, it's so funny. Whenever we, like, do what we're so easy people we're look at each other and we're like the fall the fall and like it's like a five minute conversation <laughs> so the fall sounds good sounds like a plan everything that you know with covid happened like you know oh, of course absolutely yeah. But, yeah yeah let's hope for the best on that but you know moving right along you're in the hit you're in the new upcoming series walker which is a reboot of walker texas ranger uh how did that role for you come about? How did you land that role? You know, this have you um I love and has been so supportive of my career and I worked with them on the hundred for the last seven years. They actually came to me with the project and Mark Pedowitz, the president, the president of the CW is amazing, you know, uh teased me back in November of like 2019 and was like, We have a role for you. And, it's in Texas. And it was so kind of crazy because, um, you know, they knew I'm a Texas native and, uh, and kind of, I think like, you know, I've been filming the hundred in Canada for the last seven years. So I hadn't been home in like a decade. And, and I think, uh, you know, they knew how much I, I did. I was a bit homesick and, uh, and luckily I had this amazing project and, and thought of me for it. So, it was funny. It was, I had never met Jared Padalecki, who was the star of it. And, you know, they want us to chemistry read together and, um, but we had never met. And so like the day of the chemistry read, we, like I had to fly down from Canada and he had to fly up from Texas and, and they were like, can you guys just have coffee at first before you guys go in there? So you meet each other. And it felt like my parents trying to arrange a marriage or like, set me up on a date it was so funny um but you know, i think like you know the the network knew us both and really love us and support us which is so wonderful and uh you know they they weren't wrong like you know we work so well together and the show is so great for both of us so it was really um i got really lucky that uh they, they thought of me for it absolutely and i was able to watch the pilot episode and and you, and you're right. You and Jared work well together. Your character, Mickey, uh, she's level-headed. She's, you know, straight to the point. Business first, and then, you know, Jared playing Walker. He's the, at least what we see in the pilot episode, complete opposite. Has a lot of issues he's dealing with. Um, what are the, some of the things that you like about Mickey's char the character, Mickey? Um, I love that Mickey is, you know, she's so fierce and, and strong and um, fearless you know she's very active in her and her purpose and her mission and you know she doesn't really let anything stand in her way she once she decides to do something she does it and you know she was before she joined the force she was a bit disillusioned and disenchanted with law enforcement after being a state trooper for seven years and and wasn't sure if she was going to continue in law enforcement and was um was sought out by Captain James, actually, that you'll come to find out then, and was specifically asked to join the Rangers. And, you know, the Rangers have a kind of a reputation, and up until this point, it's been very much uh, an all-male, all-Caucasian squad and club. And as a, you know, a Mexican-American woman coming into it, you know, Nikki knew she was going to be probably coming into a a tough crowd and that there may be a lot of people there that want to see her fail or don't believe in her or don't think she deserves to be there or you know or think she's just the diversity hire or the woman hire and that she doesn't really earn her spot so it it's a means a lot to her for her to prove herself 
um, to the to the rest of the the Rangers and, and to Captain James and and also um, to herself and not let herself down. You know, Mickey has sought her life out to be more than what the world tells her who she is. And uh, and I and I really believe in that, and that really resonates with me. I, I don't like to be pigeonholed, and I don't like to be put in a box. And does Mickey? Yeah, no doubt about it. And then you mentioned that the Rangers are just a different breed when it comes to law enforcement. Um, what type of training did you have to do in order to prepare for this role? Or did you have to do any type of uh, specific training? We've been actually doing a uh, good training, which has been great. You know, unfortunately, we have such a crazy schedule and we're shooting so fast, but we do have off time. We've been force training, uh, we've been gun training and fight training. So it's been really cool. You know, I have quite a bit of fight experience on my own, but when it comes to shooting and, and riding horses, I'm, I'm quite new at it, but you know, it, it's been so awesome and so fun. And I'm really, I'm really, really enjoying myself. Absolutely. And, you know, obviously, as I mentioned, Walker is a reboot from Walker Texas Ranger that air, started airing in 1993 with Chuck Norris. Uh, were you familiar with the original series when you took the role? Not a, nothing. No. Really? <laughs> I, was, I was actually deterred from watching it. I was like, okay, let me check this out. And the, our showrunner, Anna, no, no, please do not watch it. She was like, we're doing a completely new retelling of Walker. And she was like, I don't want you to have any preconceived notions of, of what this is. This is a completely new reimagining of, of this character in this world. And, and technically, my character doesn't even exist in the original right. story. So, so, you know, I was like, all right, guess I'm not watching it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. It's it's funny that you mentioned that because when I saw the pilot episode, it's a lot different from you know obviously the original series with Chuck Norris because um, there, yes, there's action in Walker, but in Walker's Texas Ranger because it's Chuck Norris, there's always a certain type of action, and the backstory, of course, is a lot different from um, the one that's coming up right now. But uh, what can fans expect from this first season of Walker? You know, I want fans to know that it's not a typical procedural cop show. You know, it's not just Walker uh, finding the bad guy of the week. The show is, is at its heart a family drama. And it's mm -hmm. about a man um, who suffered a great loss in his family. And he's putting the pieces of his life back together after that. So... You know, Walker is about the, the family and the relationships of these people in, in, in this world and, and, you know, telling the story in the state of Texas. And, uh, and it's just, uh, you know, at its core, it's just more about the people in and, um, and this life than, uh, than any crime of the, of the day, of the week. Sounds amazing. And, you know, switching subjects a little bit, um, you mentioned, and everyone knows that you were on the 100 for uh, seven seasons. Um, were you satisfied with how everything ended? Um, and how much are you going to miss the cast and crew? Oh, man. You know, the ending, our show was, the 100 was bonkers, guys. Like, what was they, they were able to pull off, or we were able to pull off? I didn't, you know, obviously I didn't write it, but like my part yeah. in it too. I'm always, I'm just astounded. Like, you know, we reinvented the wheel every season. It's a new show every season. And I don't know if everyone quite realizes like how difficult that is. Um, so when we were coming to an end, you know, I was just like, how are we gonna end this? Are we all just gonna die? Like, you know, like I couldn't think of a, of a feasible ending that was any good, you know? And then we got the ending and the way it ended, I really thought it was really genuine to the story. And I really thought it was, you know, we would go out this way. And, um, and I thought it really fit the lore of the hundred extremely well. And, um, you know, it wasn't perfect. The, the seventh season was really difficult. I think, you know, we had to rewrite it like four times. Mm, okay. so, and while we're shooting, while we're in wow. season. Wow. <laughs> A lot of people don't know how um, insane that is and how much, you know, that changes everything from costumes, from sets, from acting, from, 
you know, sound, from stunts, like every department's affected and it, and it puts us all kind of, um, you know, at a crunch for time. And so it's really, you know, it's hard. So a lot of, uh, we're facing a lot of uh, upheaval in the seventh season. So, you know, knowing that and being there for behind the scenes of everything that went down and still getting the ending we got and the story we're able to tell in the end, I thought it was quite remarkable and ambitious. And um, again, completely unique. And, and where are you gonna get this ending other than the hundred, you know what I mean? So I was, um, I was proud of that. I was really, I really loved how Raven ended too. I thought it was very uh, just for her character that she would go out this way. Um, as far as missing the cast and crew, I mean, of course, they were, they were my family. And it's crazy because, you know, I filmed that in, in Canada and now I'm, I'm in Texas and a good majority of all my friends are still in Canada. So much so, me and my fiance want to have our wedding in Canada because it's, um, it's more of our, our home in, in that sense. You know, it really was a home and the people there that I worked with for so long really became my family. But you know, I still talk to the majority of them almost once a week to every day. So I miss them, I miss working with everybody, but um, we're all still very much in each other's lives. And you know, it is kind of cool too, seeing what we're all like the next year of all our lives too. So that's been kind of cool too. Yeah, absolutely. It seems like you have a tight-knit group there with under 100. And I know fans are, even though they're sad that it's gone, I think they're happy with how everything ended. But last question for me before I let you go, I know we're kind of pressed for time, is um, uh, you know, you got a lot going on. You're engaged. You have a new show. And I know you have a new movie that's out. Um, but where do you, in, when it, in terms of your career, where do you see yourself in the next five to 10 years? Oh, that's a great, I've been actually thinking about that question a lot, actually. Wow, okay. Um, you know, I want to be doing some more movies. I've done a lot of TV in my career and it's been great, but I love that, uh, you know, movies allow for a slower pace. TV is vicious and, and fast and, and it's amazing what we're able to make, but it is really, really fast. So I would love to do some projects a little bit more time with. Um, you know, with that said, I, I have directed last year and am still, it's still very much a big passion of mine. So I want to keep directing and I hope to be directing more TV. I want to direct music videos. Mm -hmm. Um, I have a show I'm working on right now to direct and then also, you know, developing. I, I've been writing scripts and noodling around with ideas and, you know, I'm very new at it, but it's something that, uh, I find joy in and I don't want to kind of. I just want to, I just want to create. So, you know, the next five, 10 years is, is a lot of me creating and, um, really, uh, I think, you know, I think I was scared a bit and when I was younger to be like, Oh, I want to create, or, Oh, I have a story to tell, or, Oh, I have a vision. And, you know, as I grow older, older, it's like, well, we all have stories to tell. We all have vision and, you know, an age doesn't matter. It, it's about our, our creativity and our passion. So, I'm, I'm, I see myself stepping up to the plate more and um, with the artists that I, I want to be and, and, and become. That's my vision. Nice. That all sounds amazing. We, know, we are all looking forward to what you have in store for the future. Lindsay, thank you so much. Uh, congratulations on everything and good luck to you on Walker. Thank you so much. It was so nice to talk to you. Absolutely. And guys, again, Walker comes out on the 21st of January. And for more on Lindsay and all your favorite celebrities, be sure to keep a lock on popculture.com.